all right welcome back everyone to another video and this is kind of a studio light um, not exactly but like videography light uh, project that idea i had and uh, also um just an excuse to play around with the dg spark 80 tiny 85 um, based uh, microcontroller uh, the reason i love it it's extremely cheap uh, it has limited IO, limited RAM, and limited everything, so it ex like really tests you, um, and is pretty nice to play with. So just have the six IO pins; uh, they are analog and out. Uh, they have PWM, or at least a couple of them do. There's I squared C. Um, I don't know if there's a full SPI because full SPI requires seven wires, um, but. They could possibly be partial SPI. I'm not sure about that. Uh, there is an ADC on board. Um, and yeah, so I just played around with it um, and created this. Uh, this is a TP299, if I'm not wrong, or uh, TPP299 based uh, touch module. It's not very accurate, but it works. Um, and it also has kind of a custom protocol. It says SDSL. It's not I squared C by any means. Um, and it really has a custom protocol. So you need to kind of look into that. But um, the idea is to have different patterns and not just solid lights, but completely different patterns set um, uh, and have them change when you like. Also have the delay timings adjustable. So let's go into it. Let's show you all a quick demo and then we'll see how that works. So when I plug that in, it turns on, uh, wait for a second for it to kind of boot-ish, do its thing. Uh, and it starts with the first sequence, which is all green light. Uh, that's the first one. You press the second one, it goes into, a, it should be a full red light, but I don't know why it's doing that. Yep, there it is. Uh, the touchpad is kind of wonky, but uh, that's the only touchpad I can get that was a fully, uh, you know, just two wire system rather than having uh, eight wires for the 16 keys, which would be a problem on this board. So that's that. Three is blue. Um, there it goes. Four is dancing white LEDs. There they are. 5 is dancing green LEDs, so that, that is, 6 is dancing red LEDs, and come on, there they are. So there's 7 drawn dancing blue LEDs, 8 is just color shifting, so it goes through the whole uh, RGB spectrum and cycles through and uh, nine is a rainbow cycle uh, which is like physically cycling the leds uh, it's pretty slow um so you can just barely make out all the colors moving across the strip um and then 10 is uh, the same uh, dancing leds but then it also cycles through different colors uh, and you can speed that up. So right now it's green. The color cycling is kind of slow. I need to tune, uh, tune that. And if you keep pressing the 16, uh, 16th key, it slows down the timer. So you can see it gradually just gets slower, slower, slower as it goes. And it's changing color as well. And when you press the uh, number 13 key, it speeds up the time so very quickly it will just start blinking and look like less of a less of a moving LED kind of uh, experience so uh, and there it is so now it's it looks like it's just blinking rather than moving might be a different experience on the screen but that's how it looks here uh, let's move on to the other one so you can see here it's like it's it looks kind of solid on the screen kind of blinky up here but if we speed that uh, slow it down um, it goes back to its kind of a chasing uh, thing that it does 
so i guess that's about it that's all the functionality so i'm up till key number 10 i have 11 and 12 and 14 and 15 available uh, so one of the things is i'm just going to do a solid color wheel so when you press 11 or 12 you can just keep on pressing number 14 and it will uh, kind of swipe through the whole color spectrum um that's kind of an idea but for now this is more than enough for me uh, anyways in my videos what i'm going to use is number uh, eight which is the solid color uh, and which cycles through uh, and it's also mostly for macro photography um, it's not going to light up an entire room but sometime can also be useful for minor color adjustments or color correction and stuff like that uh, that is when i implement the whole uh, static color wheel thing and i can move make it move go actually quickly and make it change the color so uh, that's about it small little demo on the 80 tiny 85 really wanted to play and make something with this like tiny little chip it's surprisingly tiny surprisingly cheap i guess um one of the more interesting things that this chip can also do which a lot of people tend to forget is that it can kind of double as a mouse so you can have your uh, gyro sensors or your um some sensors there or like analog stick there and uh, just emulate a mouse emulate a keyboard and stuff like that so yes it's a pretty darn interesting chip uh just wanted to play with it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one